Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel and this is your January reading from Anything Spiritual. Your year ahead for 2024 is already out so I hope you've already watched that and down in the description below I'll put a link to my sister's channel Mind's Eye Inspiration. Your first card out is the Queen of Cups. Now she's an emotional star sign. She's intuitive, she's quite pleasant, but sometimes that comes out when situations around you may not be what you think. And to me, in this star sign, in this card, sorry, she's virtually saying, use your intuition. So Capricorn, it's like there's something around you in January where you really need to be keeping your eye on it. You need to be checking the facts. You need to be using your intuition and if it doesn't feel right your next card out is the page of pentacles pages can be younger children they can also be messages they can be offers you've got the page of pentacles is someone offering you an opportunity to do with money and you're a little bit wary of this obviously you're a star sign who likes stability you're quite grounded. You like to know where you're at and you wouldn't take risks. That's not really you, Capricorn. So there's some sort of offer going on to do with money. Your next two cards out. The Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. Fives indicate changes. Now, not a lot of us like changes. And Capricorn... Are you overthinking? You've got this offer coming in. You've got this opportunity, but it means that things are going to change. And there, there you go with your overthinking. Struggling in your mind. You've got the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. The Five of Swords shows you overthinking. The Five of Wands shows you struggling to get things in place. Struggling. I think for you, you're struggling with the idea of changing something. You don't want to risk money. You don't want to risk stability. You don't want to risk the safe foundations that you've set up. You are not the star sign to take the risks, as I've said earlier. So this opportunity will make you struggle. If you're thinking of making changes that may rock the boat. There could be changes at work, but there must be changes linked to money or linked to stability. For you to worry about it. You've got the four of pentacles here. She's holding on tightly to that money. She is not going to take no risks. She's holding on to it and she's saying, I'm keeping my structure, my foundations safe. Family is very important to you, Capricorn. Your next two cards out, the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups and the High Priestess. Look at that. Your first card out and your last card out. The Queen of Cups, intuitive, using her abilities. And here, the High Priestess, again, intuitive, using those abilities. You need to be using your instincts in January, Capricorn, with whatever is around you and making sure that you follow those gut instincts. You have an opportunity, an opportunity for change which is going to worry you. But around family, there seems to be a coming together. There seems to be a situation where there's some sort of advancement, some sort of achievement, some sort of coming together. Lovely card there. And you can see in that card that bond he's had as a child with the dog and growing up and they're still together. That bond is still there. 
So good family loving bonds in January. Remember those bonds, but there may also be a situation around you where there's some sort of opportunity. And perhaps you're worried about changing things and changing that family structure. Perhaps there are changes going on in your family that you have to work around and you have to sort out the changes and your head is full of how you're going to do this and how you're going to do that and how you're going to fit it all in. Are these changes to do with children? Capricorn, these are general readings and they'll resonate with people differently. But you have some sort of changes in January. But you need to remember to use your intuition. And we're now pulling a guardian angel card. And you've got the seven of thought. And your message from your guardian angel says, you've been confused about a situation in your life, but now suddenly everything is coming completely clear. Whether the truth was revealed by your angels, disclosed by a friend or discovered on your own, it feels great to be awake and aware. Feel free to ask for time alone if that's what you need. So we can see this confusion around you. Confusion about what's going on and how you're going to get there and what you're going to do. But everything is going to come clear, especially if you use your intuition. And perhaps these cards are telling you that your intuition will come in. It will help you. You will know what to do. So there's some sort of change going on around you, Capricorn, in January. And it can be linked to family, home. But whatever it is, the answers will come to you. Try not to over-worry. And you will find ways around these changes, keeping your structure safe. We're going to pull a couple of love and relationship cards, Capricorn. Like I said, these are general readings. And so far, this may have generated in your work, family, home life. So we're going to pull a couple of love and relationship cards and see what is in store regarding love and relationships for you. Oh, and two cards are already out. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So for those of you in a relationship, it looks like things are quite good in January. You've got that passion. Just allow it to come through. And it's telling you that divine timing is at work. So it seems that you're in sync with each other in the month of January. Perhaps dealing together with everything else that's going on. And for those of you single, good time, January, to meet somebody with this divine timing at work in your love life. You just need to allow it to come in. So don't turn down an opportunity to go out. Don't turn down an opportunity to meet someone. And if you do meet someone, try and stay open-minded. Capricorn, changes, intuition, it's all happening for you. Don't forget your year ahead is already out. If you haven't already watched it, it's on my channel and my sister's channel, Minds Iron Inspiration. There's a link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.